All right, so this is my wood pencil. It's uh, been very challenging to make, which is kind of the point. We're trying to learn things here. We go through challenges and we learn. Uh, I'm going to walk you through what I did, even though I purposely am not showing you. Uh, I went and made a hexagonal surface. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. Good. Um, using the circumscribe tool up here. No, that's not it. Here it is. Circumscribed polygon. And then I made it 0.25 inch between the flats. Then I made a graphite circle in the middle, which I believe that's 1 16th of an inch. Yeah, 1 4th. 1 16th of an inch circle. Then I extruded them. With the hole in the middle, so you can see that. All right, then I had a ton of problems. Um, I made a shape along this line here and down around the corner, and then I made a center one here, and then I revolved a cut. It would not work. Um, and this is very typical in CAD. You try something, it doesn't work. Uh, on shape is definitely not as good as Fusion or Inventor. Um, I've been toying with saying this would be a great tool for us to use in the classroom because it works on Chromebooks. It's definitely not as good. Um, I had to do it twice. So I built one shape revolved and I used the uh, revolve feature here, remove, and I went down and changed it from full to one direction and I made it 180 degrees. And then I went, rebuilt the whole sketch and did the hundred other 180 degrees. I don't know why it wasn't working. Maybe you can get it to work. I think that'd be great. But it does give a really cool looking pencil tip here. Notice I don't have the graphite in yet. Uh, so I was pretty happy with that at the end of the day. Uh, then I went and there it is. Did a project geometry which is right here it's called use project so I clicked it and I got the outer edge and then I did a offset of um, 1 64th of an inch that's how thick I'm going with the uh, little tin connector um, and then I extruded it down I think a uh, quarter of an inch so cut quarter of an inch away now that's all fun and good I think you can probably handle most of that. This is the one that took me a little while to figure out. I changed it all to wood, so I right-clicked on it and said uh, assign a material, and I went and found cedar western red because these things are made out of cedar wood. Um, good. But now I want to color this, and you can't in on shape, which was extraordinarily annoying. So there's a good workaround. They said, hey, just uh, go up here to offset surface and make it a zero offset which seems ludicrously insane. Now I hit tab, not enter. And then I was doing on one surface at a time, which is also very stupid. So two, three, four, five, six. Check mark. And now I can go and edit the appearance for those. Give it a nice bright yellow. Um, you know, I'm not going to lie, that's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty damn impressed with myself. So there's the, the wood part of the pencil. Now I'm also going to put a graphite rod in the middle, a tin edge on the end, and a rubber piece on the back end, and then I'm going to assemble them all. I'm also going to make drawings out of these for a change, uh, so we'll talk about how to do that as soon as I figure it out, because I've never done that before in Onshape. Anyway, that gives you a really good start. Hopefully that helps. Good luck.